Hello everybody, it's Renee again from the Let's Get Real channel. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about astronauts and the whole moon landing conspiracy. Now I'm not going to get into it in any kind of detail. Uh, I don't know what to believe about this whole situation. There's a lot of people out there who believe that it was uh, faked. But I'm not going to say whether I believe it or not. I just want to say that there was a space program. Whether or not they actually landed on something, who knows. I just have one question for all the any experts out there that might be watching. My question is about that backpack. Now, I was told in school that the moon in direct sunlight gets 212 degrees Fahrenheit, I believe, hotter than boiling water. And in the shade, it's like a minus 250 something. I don't remember exactly, but it's much, much colder than freezing water. Okay, so if you're an astronaut standing in the shade of a boulder, you would be way below freezing in that suit. And if you step out of the shade, you would suddenly be in extreme heat. Now, they said that that backpack regulates the suit in one temperature. It keeps one steady temperature. How is that possible? Does it have a massive cooling system in it for when you're in the sun? Does it have a massive heating unit for when you're in the shade? What if you're half in and half out? How does that fit in there and how does it work? Not only that, but the astronauts would need oxygen. Oxygen tanks would have to fit in that thing also. Also, space is a vacuum, correct? That means without an atmosphere and without atmospheric pressure, things will like expand. How did that suit keep from expanding? Was there something in that backpack that was able to pressurize that suit somehow or keep it from expanding? And then there's also the case of water. You would have to have some water to drink in there. So look at all those things that would have to be in that backpack. An oxygen system, a serious heating system, a serious cooling system, some kind of pressurized system, and H2O for drinking, all in that backpack. Does that make any sense? How is that possible? How is that possible? And can we see a demonstration of it? You never see a demonstration of this anywhere. Did you know that, at, that NASA has a huge vacuum chamber? But you never see astronauts training in a vacuum chamber with this on. You see them underwater. Why is that? Like and subscribe. And if you got some answers, hey man, educate me on this. Let's get real. Bye.